Hello Scorpio, this is your reading. This will be your reading for um, December, December 2020. So we're going to see what the message is for, for Scorpios for December 2020. Okay, Scorpios, Scorpios. So I'm getting single dad. What's this? A wrestler? Sure enough is. Um, what's this? Love to change their hair color. So you or someone you're dealing with could be a wrestler that's coming towards you. Um, could be a single father. Okay. That's coming towards you. They like to work out. So this is someone that enjoys working out. So someone here is from a royalty, okay? You could be dealing with someone who is a royalty in their country. Um, this person could be getting some type of incentives here. So already we got single dad, wrestler. Um, don't worry about my nails, you know. <laughs> There's more important thing to nails. All right, manifesting. So you could have been manifesting something for a while now. Um, your manifestation could be taking place. Some of you could have um, Pisces, Moon, or Rising. Learn about your ancestors as well. Passionate love. So, uh, so this person could be spiritual. I'm getting a spiritual person. I also feel like you've been manifesting for this person to come into your life. Okay? You've been manifesting for this person to come into your life, and they will, Scorpios. So, let's get into it. So, um, I do see you investing a lot of uh, in a lot of projects here. I do also see you partnershiping with somebody, <coughs> with somebody. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Damn. I also do see you helping the homeless shelter, helping people who are in need. I feel like you could be meeting your soul tribe, but you could have met your soul tribe. Um, Someone could be a, mus a musician or music composer. Okay, maybe you play instruments. I also see somebody who has a guru or a spiritual um, teacher, mentor. Um, I feel like you're going to have a connection, a special connection with somebody. It's going to happen unexpectedly. You could meet this person at the gas station, um, in front of a store. It could be somebody that's homeless. That might own a kitten or a cat or um, someone who owns a dog that's homeless. Or you could be meeting a homeless person. Some of you could be thinking about how you can help the community, what you can do to help the community. Some, some of you could be also buying land. I'm seeing a land field. So you could be buying land um, to help the urban community. Uh, Maybe some of you work for FEMA. Some of you donate things to people in need. Um, a lot is going on here. Someone could even be from the military um, that's sending off toys um, to those people that don't have toys during Christmas, which is a good deed. I see you guys doing a lot of good deed. Okay, so that's a good thing. I feel like you do good. You put good out into this world. You're going to get good back in return. Um but I see that there's going to be an earth sign person that comes back from the past and you don't want nothing to do with this person. <clears throat> uh, you don't want nothing to do with this person. I feel like someone is refusing for something to end. Someone don't want things to end here. Whoever this is, okay? So there's a lot of messages coming in for you. I feel like you're, 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 you're an entrepreneur or you're, you're doing things that is entrepreneurial. <laughs> Don't even know if that's a word, but I, go with me. Go with me. Go with me. Go with me. Um, a lot of you guys are very sexual at this time. Um, there's a lot of sexual position I'm seeing here and sexual things happening here. Maybe with your partner, with the person you're dealing with. Um, there's a lot of sex. A lot of... Um, I don't know why I'm hearing come or swallow. So this is not for kids, okay? If you got kids, keep them away. I see a lot of come, swallow, swallow, come. I also feel like someone was trying to set you up. 
Um, someone was trying to test you, but it backfired at them. Someone is trying to do spirit, spiritual work against you. If you're a spiritual reader or you're a spiritual healer, you're a Reiki practitioner, um, yoga, whoever you are, you can even be a rapper, okay? I feel like someone could have been trying, to, someone could have gotten shot in their leg or gotten shot, period. As soon as I said that, three of um, ones fell out. Um... It's a lot of messages here. Give me one second. I'm getting the name Samantha. I'm also getting the name Rose. Rose. I'm getting the name Jaden. I'm also getting the name Kalib. 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 I'm getting a G initial. Gabby. Gab Gabrielle. Gabby. Okay, someone could have gotten engaged here. Maybe your name is Gabby. Uh. Okay, someone just got proposed to. It, it was unexpectedly. Um, you did not see this coming. Um, it could actually be a uh, biracial couple, or I don't. Really, I don't really care for that term. Or um, you're dating somebody outside of your race, or you're engaged to someone outside of your race. I feel like you're both going to teach each other something here. All right. So maybe you're meeting a single dad, someone that loves wrestling or is a wrestler or retired. I don't know why I'm hearing or Coggan. I don't know why that just came up. Or Coggan. All right. I'm also getting Triple H. Okay. So, yeah, you, someone could belong to some type of wrestling team here. Um, but I do see you guys invest in Scorpios. I feel like your money is popping. I feel like you've cleared the clutters and you're moving on. You're not waiting. Someone could have came back to you and didn't show you why they, they should come back or then. Okay. So someone from the past is coming back that you don't really want to start nothing with. Like this person is still with the bullshit. Okay. Let's, let's, but I feel like things are good here. Whoever is trying to set you up. Or whoever is trying to fuck with you, is going to backfire. Whoever this person is, is is going to three cards just fell out. So I want to know who's coming towards Scorpio. Who's coming towards Scorpio? Give me four cards. Four. So there's a Leo here that is. You know, you haven't spoken to this Leo in quite some time. Some of you might also have Leo rising. Um, you might have Leo moon. All right. But I feel like you're not speaking to someone here. Um, I, so, I also feel like you're over it. You're, if it's a Leo sun, this could be your energy as well. But I feel like you're over something. You're over the, the, the exes. You're over... The past, you're over something here, um, because I feel like you're someone here is thinking about love or money, like, but you could have both, Scorpio. You could have love and money. I feel like you feel like this is not a wise decision to get this person back into your life. Whoever this is that's coming back, I also feel like you already made your choice. You already made your decision on who you want to move forward with, and I feel like um, this person is an air sign here. Could be a Leo. But this person is an air sign. Maybe you and this Leo is not even talking at this time. Um, but I feel like someone is coming towards you to tell you the truth. Someone was telling you the truth or is trying to tell you the truth. Okay? So whoever this is. I feel like you made your choice. You made a choice. I feel like for some of you, you're thinking if you, you're asking yourself if you made the right choice. On who you picked here. Or maybe a Libra is thinking about if they made the right choice on who they picked here. They could have picked a Leo or they could have picked a, a Gemini here. I feel like someone made a wrong choice when it comes to you. Someone was trying to test you here. Okay, someone could have got okay, so you could have lost a friend through gun violence. I mean, gun violence here. Um, yeah, there's someone from your past that's trying to come back here because they made the wrong choice. It could be an earth sign, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus individual here. Um, I feel like this person could have tried to get their money together before they come towards you, but I feel like it's something's kind of over here or something is 
It's a done dada. Yeah, this person could have caused you a lot of pain and anguish when you were with them. They caused you a lot of confusion. They caused you a lot of stagnation here. I feel like someone could be withholding your money. Don't want to pay you when it's time to pay you. Could even be a boss here. Okay? Don't want to pay you when they need to pay you. Um, or you could be dealing with an Aries um, person here. Someone who pretended to be a, a, a emperor. Someone that was not a real emperor. Because the emperor really um, have been through a lot. You know, they've been through a lot. They've gone through a lot of pain and experiences in their life that led them to become an emperor. You cannot just be an emperor overnight. You got to earn it. You got to go from a knight to a king to an emperor. You got to go from a page to a knight to a king to an emperor. You can't just jump. You dig what I'm saying? So, wow. Yeah. Someone was a fake emperor. Someone here was a fake emperor, fake friend, fake, fake business. I don't know what's going on. But we're going to find out. Um, what does this person want with the Scorpio? All right. In the month of December. Okay. So I feel like you blocked this person. You could have blocked them through your phone. You blocked them on social media. You blocked them, period. Okay. Because this person caused you a lot of indecisiveness. I feel like you could be trying to choose between two people and you've already made your decision. And your decision could be a fucking Leo. Yeah, look at that, the Eight of Swords. Someone here caused you a lot of um, confusion when it came to relationship. Um, someone kept you, made you stay stagnant in your relationship. All right? Someone, so the person that's coming towards you is a past and somebody new. Okay? It's, so you could have gotten into an argument with somebody recently. Okay? This could have just happened in the 24 hours or... Um, this could have happened in 24 hours or within 72 hours or probably last week. Okay, this because I feel something lingering from November to December. So this could have happened prior to. Okay, I feel like um, someone does not want you to be independent. Someone does not want you to build on your own. Um, someone want to keep you under their wings. Um, they don't want you to accelerate forward. I feel like you have left the dust and you're moving on. Okay, this is your energy. Um, water sign Scorpio. The Scorpio Onyx. Y'all are not playing this month. I feel like y'all don't want a new beginning with someone here. Or you don't want to move on with somebody here. You don't want to start something new with somebody here. Someone was trying to throw you off. But I feel like it backfired. It backfired. Yeah, I feel like you're coming in as the queen of swords here, and you're cutting motherfuckers off. You're cutting motherfuckers off, okay? You come in as the queen of swords, and you letting them have it because someone here think they could play on your emotions or play on your mental, but they can't. Yeah, you letting them have it, the ace of swords. You are letting them, okay? The queen has arrived. The queen of scorpion. Oh, <laughs> I don't know why I said that. But, but the... <laughs> You have arrived, okay? Someone used to work with, someone used to, yeah, someone used to work with. There is a choice to be ch chosen here. There's, there's two choices. There's a past love and a new love. Hmm. So what I'm going to ask again is who's coming towards you in the month of December? Because I feel like I have to, to get this out the way and get the other part in. Who's coming towards Scorpio in the month of December for the love reading? Okay. I feel like someone expects you to be at war 24-7. It's like someone expects you to be at work 24-7. Um, they're trying to see what you're going to do when somebody um, comes towards you and starts some bullshit. They want to see what you're going to do. They want to see what you're going to do. It's like a boss or a, a, an elite person that's watching and uh, want to see how you're going to react um, when someone comes after your neck or comes after you, right? So... Whoever's coming towards you, whether you're a male or a female, is a, is a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries individual here. This person is beautiful, okay? This person is handsome. Whoever this... I feel like you're going to meet this person through your job. 
Okay, you guys could be doing the same type of job and you meet each other. Okay, during your work, during what you're doing, you met this person during work and this person is coming towards you with love. Okay, they're coming towards you with love. Um, this is a new love. So you could have chosen a new love over an old love. And the old love could be uh, a Taurus, Vero Capricorn. I also do feel like the person you're dealing with could ha also have Earth in their chart. Um, I do feel like there's an age difference between you and this person. I feel like this person feels like they have to catch up to you. Wow, who's this? I feel like whoever this new person is, they see you in this light. Beautiful. Um, voluptuous, okay? Um, someone here is a choreographer. You, you dance for a living. You, you could be a dance teacher. All right? I don't know why I'm getting some type of chocolate. Brandy chocolate or chocolate. All right. So, yeah, you're, you, some of you are going into a, a relationship with this person that's new into your life. Um, there's a relationship here that you're building with. Some of thought you would never find somebody better than them, but you... you <laughs> You show them better than you could tell them. The grass ain't greener on the other side. I've been there. Oh, yeah. The grass ain't greener on the other side. I've been there. So you could be dealing with an athlete or someone who is in the in music industry or an actress, actor. Um, someone who's an athlete could be a football player, a basketball player. Um, someone who's a rapper, a singer actor actress um someone who's a manager who owns their own business so you're meeting someone here or they might pour a drink for a living maybe they're a bartender um work at the club um i feel like if you're dealing with a capricorn you don't want this capricorn back you don't want an opportunity with this capricorn okay i just saw that you don't want to fuck with this Capricorn. You don't want to do So some of you might have Scorpio Moon and Aries um, Sun. Okay, you don't want to deal with somebody here that's coming from your past, Scorpio. Um, whoever this is, you do not want to deal with them. And these three cards is, is, is showing up to me, which is the High Priestess, the Sun card, and the Ten of Cups. So someone is expecting a baby. There's a baby coming in here. Um, there's an addition to the family. Um, I do see a son. A son? I don't know. I see a son. Someone is having a son. Someone could have a cat. I also see you eating a lot of fruit. If you're pregnant, I see you eating a lot of fruit. Um, I feel like this could be an unexpected pregnancy. It just happened. I'm shocked the tower is not here. But this just happened. Yes, you could be seven weeks pregnant. Or you're seven months, okay? Or you're just finding out you're pregnant after something ended too. That's another thing I'm getting here. So, I don't feel like this is a last long ending. I just feel like you could be dealing with another water sign, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. It could be Pisces or Cancer. But I feel like, but I do see a Leo, okay? Some of you are dealing with it. You chose a Leo over a Taurus or over a Capricorn, all right? But I do feel like <coughs> for some of you, you ended a friendship. You feel like this Pisces person is upside down or this person is not in their right state of mind or someone here is has a mental anguish or mental dissolution. Um, they encumbered. I forgot what that word means, but if Spirit is saying it, then it means something in here. <laughs> I feel like you also have the options here. To do something. I don't know what that is. Um, if you're single, I feel like you have options for days here. I feel like there's a narcissistic Virgo. A Virgo is a no-no. I feel like you could tell because your spirit guys are trying to stop you from dealing with certain people in your life. They cut and they remove in these people for you. If you don't have the strength to remove them, they're helping you out. My brother, my sister. My brother, my sister. Okay. Um, but I, I do see so, some of you are in a, in a good relationship here. And there's an expectancy here of a baby. There's a baby. Someone could have even had like a one-night stand. 
and there's a baby on the way. Um, I also feel like someone here is thinking about getting pregnant or wants to get pregnant. I don't know why I'm getting um, cashew nuts. Um, I'm also getting chasey, chased, chase tree. That my goodness. Drink some chase tree. Let me see. Fertility tea with chase tree, chased, chased tree. Oof. Ooh, child. <laughs> Chase tree and fertility tea. I didn't even know they had fertility tea, but I'm going to do my research on that. Chase tree and fertility tea. Check it out. So if you're trying to get pregnant, I feel like go drink those tea. Drink it. Um, get some alkaline water. Squeeze some lime in there. Squeeze some. So someone is trying to get pregnant. I also feel like someone is already pregnant. So it's happening to different people here. Okay? Because I see a beautiful pregnant woman. I feel like you're glowing. Um, you change your hair colors from time. Someone here changes their hair color. You might have copper hair color right now. Or you might have... Um, I went to school for cosmetology. So I'm trying to look at the wheel of colors. <laughs> Some of you are dealing with the sun. You're dealing with, uh, you're dealing with the sun. <laughs> you could be sun gazing. I don't know. But I feel like you might meet this person um, in the evening on the broad daylight. Okay? But I feel like some of you that if you're in a relationship with someone here, I feel like if you just had an argument with your partner, um, I feel like you guys are going to be able to make amend here. But if this is an ex from your past, mm -mm, mm -mm, I don't, I don't see that happening. Okay. Cause I feel like the only way you're going to take this person back is, uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't see that happen anytime soon. So let's clarify. As soon as I said, I don't see anything happen so soon. The two of cups come in reverse. So that should tell you right there. I want to clarify to me the king of wands here. Ooh, ooh. The king of wands. Um, this is someone who who um, harvested and built for themselves. This is a self-made millionaire. Fuck the public. You know what I mean? You're a self-made millionaire. This person is a self-made millionaire. Okay? This person owned their own shit. Okay? I also feel like this person is not here to play with you. They're not here to play games with you. They're not on that shit. Um, I feel like this person is well off. Okay? They're not worried about money. It's not an issue for them here. Whoever this is. Um, money is not an issue for them. Um, but this person could have like an a, a addictive trait. Maybe someone smokes here a lot or drinks a lot. All right? Or they used to. They used to. Okay? <laughs> Isn't that the emperor? This is the emperor. So, I feel like if you're dealing with an Aries person, I feel like this person wants to be in charge. This person wants to be in control of you. Because a true emperor does not care to be in control of others. Because they have gone through the experience of knowing who they truly are. Because this was coming in diagonal. And that's telling me someone here wants to be in control of you. But you're not you're not allowing that shit to happen. No. You cannot control Scorpio. Scorpio is ruled by Mars. Mars is a fucking warrior. They don't play around. But this could be your energy coming up, though. If this is not... I did say some of you have Aries um, Sun and Scorpio Moon. If this is your energy, I feel like you don't want to deal with an ex from the past. Um, and if this, is, if this is somebody new, I feel like this person is not here to play games with you. I feel like this person is well off. You hear me? But this person feels like they're not up to your standards, though. But they have a good intention. Their intentions are good. Yeah. Um, I feel like it, uh, you have to let your past go in order for the future to come alive. You know what I mean? I feel like this person might enjoy sex a lot. That's where the addictive behavior could be coming in. Or this person could actually have... Capricorn rising. Um, if you're dealing with a Virgo, I feel like a Virgo is watching you, keeping an eye on you. Okay? Um, a Virgo, you could have taken a break from a Virgo. You're not dealing with a Virgo. I feel like this Virgo have an addictive trait um, on them. They could be a heavy smoker or drink a lot. 
this Virgo. I feel like this person could be doing things to try and hinder you um, from this relationship with a Leo um, or with someone else here that you're dealing with here. Okay? I feel like you're wondering about a Leo if they're going to come back. Yeah. Um, three of cups here. You could have met. Yeah, this Virgo could be a friend. There's a friend here that you don't want to deal with anymore. Or there's a friend here that you're taking a break from. Um, something was slowly manifested here that you didn't want. Maybe you don't want to be in a relationship um, with the Taurus or Aries person here. And you manifested that and it happened. Um, you don't want to deal with a boss. You manifested that and it happened. There's a narcissistic boss here. Someone who wants to withhold your money and don't want to pay you. Want to play with your finances here. Clarify Ten of Cups for me. Someone wants to play with your finances. Yeah, a fucking Virgo. A fucking Virgo. Um, family member. Could be a father. Um, could be an uncle like. Gemini. Yeah, someone is, it's like someone is watching um, your love life through dreams. It's like they, <laughs> this person is trying to come through your dreams. Let me tell you something. So I'm seeing one thing that's creeping me the fuck out, Scorpio. Um, it's like this person is coming through your dreams to watch you. Golly, what the fuck? They're coming through your dreams to watch you. Okay, um, they send a Gemini. It's not a Leo, it's a Virgo that's coming through your dreams to watch you. Good thing this came in reverse. And they're trying to throw you off. It's like they try this person is trying to throw you off. You used to work with this person, you used to be friends with this person. They're trying to come to your dream. To act like your partner or to pretend like... So it's like... It's like... um, This person could also be... If they, they're not your father, this person could be coming in as a lover in your dream. Okay? Um, this could be someone from your friend, soul tribe. Someone from your family tribe. Somebody that you used to deal with from the past that you no longer deal with. It could even be an ex. And they come into your dream. Wow. I'm trying to tell you what it is. Someone here could have also passed on. Um, I feel like someone's trying to fuck with your money, but they will not succeed, though. Because the five of coins came in reverse. You don't have to worry about money. Finances is coming. Your money is going to look right in December. Yeah. Like, this person's fucking with your emotions. Um... I feel like this person is un apologetic or feels sorry about something or wants you to feel to be emotionally trapped in some type of way. This could be a friend, an old friend, but I don't see some I don't see nothing good with this friend. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No. This person's coming through your dreams. If it's a father, they're coming through your dreams. This person could be very intuitive. They're coming through your dreams. And, and they're trying to fuck with your emotions through your dreams. Like, literally. If this is a father figure, it could even be Papa Legba, fucking with you in your dreams. Like, real shit. And trying to come in there like a lover. Like a, a lover. You ended things with this person. Okay? You ended things. What well, I said. You ended things with this person. You ended a job. I feel like some of you are um, growing your hair. You're starting over with your hair. You cut your hair off. You could have cut your dreadlocks off or your locks off or you're taking your locks off here. You're starting over.